Addison Lee is proud to sponsor the Ancient World in London series. When a man is tired of London, he is tired of life. For there is in London all that life can afford. The River Thames has wound its way through Britain since time began. Celts called it the Dark One, Romans bridged it, Saxons and Vikings waged war on its shores, and Normans stamped their fearsome mark upon it. We are born, grow old and die beside the river, but it will always be. Without the river, there is no life, and with no life, there is no London. What does London mean to you? London's home for me. Place to come to work. Centred around the river. It's a good city, we've got lots to do here. The atmosphere that you get from being in London. Financial centre where I have my career. It's my second home. It's where I come to go shopping. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Big trading centre. You can meet a lot of friends here. History. I think it's one of the best cities in the world. Hi, my name's Sean. I'm a writer here at Hedges Key and this is Sam. She's a filmmaker. Together we've been making videos together about the ancient world. Uh, we're just about to start our Ancient World in London series, but in truth it's a lot more than the videos. There's a whole host of events, quests, competitions. Kind of an online festival. Yeah. Um, so because it's a web thing, we decided that we were going to um, do our auditions for our presenters for the series online. So we did a little video, we put it out on YouTube. There were three in particular that caught our eye. Check them out. I'm Nicole and I came here from Kent, the Garden of England, on the train and I'm now here going to take you on an adventure of a life. Ah, I'm Jamie and I'm poised to take you on an ancient London voyage of discovery and I have to say I'm jolly excited. Stick some finger out the window and start shouting things. My name is Natalie. I don't know enough about London. I'm from here, I grew up here, but it's just been on my doorstep. I've taken it for granted. So. I'm ready for an adventure. We thought for the first little adventure we'd send them to the most obvious of places when you're you know, just trying to discover the ancient world and that is the British Museum. After we sent them there we decided that we want them to really explore London and if you're going to do that you've got to see the places and things that people don't normally see. So, we took them to something called the London Stone. It's sometimes called the Brutus Stone, named after a guy called Brutus of Troy, who was a medieval reincarnation of the guy from the Trojan Wars. It used to be part of a church called St Swimmins, but in the war, St Swimmins got bombed, completely decimated, and all that was left was the stone, so... Oh, if you ever move it, the whole of London will fall. Street and, uh, and we're looking at the London Stone, which um, is a very, very old stone. How many people see this London Stone every year? Because it's right here in the centre of Cannon Street. And I think it'd be really interesting to see people's views on this as well and see how important they think this is as an integral part of the history in London. I'm a tiny bit disappointed, I have to say. I did some research on the stone and uh, I was really looking forward to coming to see it today and I almost walked straight past it because it's like trapped into the wall and I can barely even see it. Don't be mistaken 
by this stinky little bit of stone set into a really ugly wall set behind some rusty old grumpy grate. This is a real London artefact and we should be excited about it. You see, if this was the Rosetta Stone stuffed behind here, people would walk past that every day too. So this little stone, we should celebrate. It's really exciting. So if you want to find out more about this little London artefact, check it out at heritagekey.com. So that was the first of 25 videos about the ancient world in London. So join us for our next adventure.